Blessings. So as I was in prayer, the word of the Lord that came to me to release is from mishandled to remantled. From mishandled to remantled. Let me break it down for you. Thank you, Lord. Let's just, I just thank you, God, for what you want to release here today. And I surrender to you, Holy Spirit, have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so remantled. What I see prophetically is many, many of God's children, sons and daughters of the Most High God, are being remantled in this season. In other words, there's a new assignment. There's a new mandate. The call is being renewed, even different than what it was before. And what I saw, I was looking there in Genesis chapter 37, verse 3. And the Bible says there that Jacob loved Joseph more than any other of his sons or children. And he gave him a coat. It says actually because he was the son of his old age. And he gave him a coat of many colors, the coat of many colors, as you know. And what I'm seeing, and let me just prophetically speak to you right now. And you have to seek the Lord for yourself as always to get confirmation for any prophetic word as it applies to you. Amen. Okay, so Joseph had a coat of many colors and I see the coat as representative as a mantle. You know, think of a, um, a judge who is wearing, you know, the robes. There's a robe of authority that comes with it, with the position. There's a mantle, a coat of authority. You're robed in a, an anointing for the specific purpose and assignment that God has on your life. You see this with the prophet Elijah, you know, throwing his coat onto Elisha and, you know, passing on the mantle, that type of idea. So a mantle is that specific um, call, assignment, which comes with an anointing, with the grace of God, the Holy Spirit empowering you um, to be able to perform in that office, that position, that assignment. And so going back to Joseph, though, because this was kind of interesting, God has never really spoken to me about the mantle in this way regarding the coat of many colors. And I see so many of God's people have been anointed and gifted with so many, a variety, a diversity of giftings, like a coat of many colors where there's, you know, different aspects that God has for you, creativity, you know, different talents, different gifts, things, leadership gifts, um, gifts for worship, gifts for teaching, all kinds, all types of gifts, gifts for business. And Joseph, he had this coat of many colors. But we know that in his own house, in his own family, he was mishandled. Now, this is the word. I'm, I'm, stay with me here. I'm just trying to focus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, okay, so Joseph was mishandled in his own family. And I see that many of God's people, even though they have had multiple giftings and, and all kinds of talent and things, even obvious things, obvious gifts, yet they've gone unrecognized, they've been um, trampled upon, they have been disrespected, rejected, 
people tried to keep them down, you know? So if I'm talking to you, then you know what I'm talking about. When people don't recognize you, they don't give you respect, and you think, Lord, you know, I'm only trying to do what you've called me to do. I know what you've shown me. I know, you know, what I'm capable of doing. And yet everything is, you know, lined up against me. And it's like they're mishandling, mishandling, not using you, not recognizing, not putting you to work in the assignment that you're called to do even, okay? So what I saw there was, it's the same thing. You see, Joseph's brothers, they were jealous of the coat, amen? They were jealous of the coat, okay? So I see that for some of you, jealousy, a lot of jealousy, a lot of envy around you, you know? And Joseph's brothers hated him to the point they put him in a pit, wanted him dead, wanted him gone, hated the fact that the father had given him the coat of many colors. Amen. Okay, because you're chosen. You see, Jacob, you know, he had a special gift there for, for Joseph. He had, a, Joseph had favor upon him. Joseph had divine potential for greatness. Jo Joseph was destined for greatness. He was going to stand out above his, his brothers. He was going to, he, he had a destiny that was set apart. Amen. That they did not have. Okay, so getting back to the, so you understand mishandled, mishandled, that's the word God gave me, mishandled, coming from, from being mishandled to now being remantled. And that's, beloved, that's what I'm seeing coming up in the future now, a lot of mishandling. But God lets that be a training season, amen? Because if you see what happened to Joseph, we know there was a training season. And then again, he goes into, but he was remantled, okay? He was remantled to go into Potiphar's house. And in that position, you know, he was running, administrative, uh, running the whole household, you know, a business mantle, uh, an organization mantle, an administrative mantle to oversee the house. But what happened? He was mishandled again, okay? He was, the, the gift was mishandled. Do you hear what the Holy Spirit is saying, okay? Do you hear what the Spirit is saying? Beloved, this should encourage you because, because this is the prophetic encouragement prophetic destiny fulfilling channel that you're on right now okay and um just on a side note right there i just want to say too if you don't love the prophetic if you don't value the prophetic this is not your page this is not your channel okay so that and that's okay i'm okay with that just you know it's not for you okay I'm here, I'm called to people who it is for them, okay? <laughs> so, you know, don't, you don't, people, you know, they get all uptight about it. They start, you know, getting angry, getting, you know, really calling, you know, calling you out. And, and um, you know, it's just, to me, it's sort of like, okay, you know what? It's, if it's not for you, no one's forcing you here. You, you can just go your way. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because God brings the people who have ears to hear and eyes to see. Um, so praise God. That that's a word right there just for somebody right now, because you're wondering who's, you know, who's coming with me? Who's, you know, is anybody going to be with me or am I going to be doing this all by myself kind of thing? Amen. But I'm getting off track now. So let me go back to mishandled from being mishandled to now being remantled. Because even in the mishandling, God, they were mishandling you, but God 
was handling you. Hallelujah, Jesus. They were mishandling you. But God was not, he, he had his hand on the situation the whole time. He saw what was going on. He knew. You think God didn't know what was going to happen with Potiphar's wife and Joseph and that she was going to falsely accuse him, mishandle him, mistreat him? I mean, to the point of false accusation and having, you know, having him put in a prison. I mean, God had his hand on the situation. Even in the prison, he was, Joseph was remantled. And I, I see his gift came to a whole other level. You know, his, it, he was, he was working his gift in that prison. Okay. He was working his, his dream interpretation gift was, was, and, and that's the key thing too. work the gift, no matter what the situation. Okay. Don't let people quench your fire. Don't let them quench your anointing. So I have to prophetically decre decree and declare over you because I don't know if anybody else is going to prophesy into your life. And you need somebody who's going to build you up and encourage you in this hour. We need that. Um, because like I said, there's greatness for you to fulfill. There are things, there's a mantle that you have to carry with an anointing, with authority that comes with it, with exousia, exousia and dunamis power that comes with this coat that God is putting a new coat on you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just receive that now. Receive in the name of Jesus the remantling from the throne room of heaven. A new coat is just coming upon you in Jesus' name. And it's time. It is time and it is high time because you passed the test. You endured in the season that was tough, that was hard, that was that was a season of adversity, a season of opposition, resistance, mishandling. So I am telling you, brother, sister, beloved in Christ Jesus, I speak that you are coming into a new, fresh mantle, and it's just going to take you soaring to the greatest heights, Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So I pray that blesses you because we can see God took Joseph from the prison to the palace. And even when he came out of that prison, he had a mantle that was bigger than anything. And it says in the Bible, Pharaoh took off his ring, put it on Joseph's hand, took a robe, and put it over him. You see the mantling? You see the remantling? And Joseph was second in command to Pharaoh riding through the streets of Egypt. An Israelite. Amen? And that was his greatness being manifested. And I declare your greatness will be manifested. What God put on the inside of you is coming out for all to see. You are coming out of obscurity. I pray that blesses you. Hallelujah, Jesus. This is how the living God works his wonderful works in his own way and timing, of course. Amen. So God bless you. And I pray that you are encouraged, strengthened, and ready to walk into and carry. You are capable of carrying and wearing and filling these shoes, filling this coat. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for subscribing, sharing. It's important to get the word of God out, right? People need to be encouraged, strengthened. And um, I pray that that just recharges you. And I thank you for all your support of this ministry and to me just being such a blessing in my life. Thank you for subscribing. God bless you.
and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.